Today we'll be going over how to solve an equation that involves fractions. Here's an equation that we'll be working on. We have 7 tenths times n plus 3 halves is equal to 3 fifths n plus 2. As you can see, we have several fractions. We have a 7 tenths, 3 halves, and a 3 fifths. However, it's a lot easier to solve an equation without its fractions. So we're going to eliminate our fractions. In order to do this, we will need to find the LCM, which is the lowest common multiple. In order to do this, we will need to look at the denominators from our fractions, which we have a 10, a 2, and a 5. And we're going to go ahead and write this down. 10, 2, and 5. 10 times 1 is 10. 10 times 2 is 20. 10 times 3 is 30. We're going to do this as well for our 2's. List out our multiples. 2 times, two, two times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. And we're going to continue on to 12. We're also going to do this for 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3 is 15. As you can see here, we have a 10, a 10, and another 10. All in common, which would mean that our lowest common multiple is equal to 10. Okay, so this means we're going to go ahead and write our 10 here and our 10 here. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other side. Right here, it just means we're going to be multiplying. And we will use a distributive property on both sides. Because whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other side. So we have 10 times 7 tenths n plus 10 and 3 halves is equal to 10 times 3 fifths n plus 10 times 2. Now as you can see we can do a lot of reducing which we will do now. 10 divided by 10 is 1 which is 1 times 7 is 7n plus we'll continue reducing 5 times 3 is 15. Continue reducing. 2 times 3n is 6n. Plus 10 times 2 is 20. As you can see here, now we have our new equation that has no fractions. This is one that you should be able to solve. And we'll continue solving. We need to make sure that we need that we isolate the ends. So we're going to find the inverse of our 6n, which will be 6n. So we're going to subtract that. And 6n. 6n minus 6n gives us 0. And 7n minus 6n gives us 1n. However, we still need to continue isolating our n, and we have a 15 here. In order to continue isolating our n, we need to find the inverse of 15, which is negative 15. Do this to both sides. Gives us 0. Make sure you're following along with your signs, as well as your equal sign. And this continues to say positive. 20 minus 15 is 5, which gives us 1n plus 1n is equal to 5, also known as n is equal to 5, which is right here. And there's your answer. And it is easy as that.